YouTube channel Math with Jeeva. This is the continuation video of Pythagorean relation which we had another video as the introduction. Right. So in the previous video we discussed how Pythagorean relation can be applied to a right angle triangle. So before moving to the lesson let's revise it again in a right angle triangle. So, how do you identify a right angle triangle? Normally, in a triangle, we have three sides, three interior angles. Out of these three interior angles, one angle is a right angle. So, this is a right angle triangle. And the side which is exactly opposite to the right angle we named as the hypotenuse. According to the Pythagorean relation, in a right angle triangle, we name this first of all ABC, right? In a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse, that means AC squared, should be equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. That means AB squared plus BC squared. And we did one sum with this theorem how they have given this AB side and BC side. If so, how can we find the length of this hypotenuse? Today, I am going to discuss with you, let's say, they have given the hypotenuse value and another side. Now, we want to find the missing figure. That means, now we have the hypotenuse value and another side. Let's say we have BC and AC. We want to find the value of AB. If so, how can we find? So, the same theory we can apply. This is a right angle triangle. According to the Pythagoras theorem, what we can do? So, the uh, hypotenuse square should be equal to the sum of the other two side squares, right? Now, I want to find, they have given this AC, let's say it is 5 centimeters, right? And they have given this side, it has 4 centimeters and I don't know this. So, this is what I want to find. If so, according to this formula, I want to find AB squared first of all before finding the value of AB. Now, I want to keep this AB along this side to find the value of it. So, I want to bring this BZ squared to this side. Then what happened? AC squared minus BC squared equal to AB squared. The uh, side which you want to find, you keep here and the other side will bring to the uh, this side. No, now it becomes minus AC squared minus BC squared. Now I am going to rewrite the same formula in a familiar way. What is that? AB squared equal to AC squared minus BC square. Okay? Right. Now, they have given AC value. The It is 5 cm squared minus. They have given BC value. It is 4. So, 4 squared. So, 5 squared is, it is 25. And 4 squared is, it is 16. 25 minus 16, it is 9. Now, 9 is the value of what? It is the value of AB squared. Now, I want to find the value of AB. So, this is AB squared. Right? And this is AB squared. AB squared is 9. So, how can I find AB then? It is the square root of 9, okay, then value of AB equal to 3 centimeters. So, this is the 
answer. So how I found the missing figure? I First of all, I should identify this as a right angle triangle. I know in a right angle triangle, according to the Pythagoras theorem, uh, the square of the hypotenuse should be equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, right? So, in the previous video, we discussed and we learned by ourselves uh, doing two activities and we proved it. Yes, that is correct, right? Then, now what we want to do, we want to find the missing one, right? And earlier one the original pythagoras theorem formula should be a c squared equal to a b squared plus b c squared now you want to find the value of a b then i kept a b along then this is a c squared minus b c squared so that is how you found the value of a b now i'll give you an easy method and i introduce two rules uh, with regard to this pythagorean relation to get this missing figure easily, right? So we name them as, so we have two rules. They are, we call two rules. One is, three, four, five rules. Other one is 5, 12, 13 rule. Right? What does this mean? In a right angle and a triangle, if the three sides follow this rule, let's say, now in your right angle triangle, right? So, if this is 5 centimeters and this is 4 centimeters and this is 3 centimeters, the ratio between three sides is what? 3 to 4 to 5. Let's say they have given 5 and 4. If you know about this rule, so straight away without going for the calculation, you can uh, take this value as 3. Right? Let's say this is 6 and this is 8 and this is 10. Right? Let's say they have not given this one. They have given the, the, these two sides as 10 and 8. Now tell me, how can, without going for the calculation, you get the squares and you get the square root. Without going for that step, can you uh, do this easily? Look at this. What is this? It is 2 times 4. What is this? 2 times 5. Seems for those are rule 3 to 4 to 5 right now if so this should be 2 times 3 right now can you understand so easily you can find the missing figure without going for further calculation if that particular right angle triangle follows 3 4 5 rule okay so here they have given 10 8 then you identify it's a multiple of 2. How can I write it? 2 times 4, 2 times 5. Then it seems 4 and 5. That means it seems uh, this triangle follows 3, 4, 5 rules. Then I check this. Yes, it should be 2 times 3. Uh, if you feel, uh, when you practice sums, you can uh, check this with few values. Right? Then automatically in the exam, when you see 10 and 8, you know definitely this should be 6. So then I'll write like this. This is 15. Right? This is 15 centimeters. And this is uh, 12 centimeters. Now you want to find this. Now tell me 15 and 12 multiples of what? Multiples of what? 3 times 4, 12. 3 times 5, 15. Seems it follows 3, 4, 5 rule. If so, this should be 3 times 3. That means it should be 9 centimeters. Now, it's very easy what you want to understand. So, you can't do this in the exam, right? So, in the examination uh, with that stress, you can't do these things. What you want to do... 
when you study, you can practice these sums whether it follows the when, when you have uh, figures and you want to find the missing one. When you study, you can practice and check. So now you know after practicing few sums, if this is 15 and if this is 12, you know this should be 9 because it follows 3, 4, 5 rules. 3 times 3, 9. 3 times 4, 12. And 3 times 5, 15. The same thing will be applicable for this. I'll draw another right angle triangle. Now look at this. Let's say, so this is 13 centimeters. This is 12 centimeters. So this is 5 centimeters. So that is 5, 12, 13 rule. Right. So let's say you can check this whether uh, this is uh, correct or not. So uh, you can get the square values and you can get the square root. Likewise, uh, while applying the Pythagoras theorem, you can check this. Now let's say, now they have given, they have not given this one, right? So what is this? They have given, let's say, 26, right? And this as 24. Now 26 and 24 are multiples of 2. Then how can I write it? 2 times 12 and 2 times 13 seems this triangle follows 5, 12, 13 rule. Because why? Here look at this 12 and 13. If so, what I, now what I am going to do, if so this should be 2 times 5. Right? Then what happened? Five, twelve, thirteen, true. So two times five, it is ten, right? Two times twelve, it is twenty-four, and two times thirteen, it is twenty-six. Now, can you understand? So, if you have practiced them when you are studying, when you get the values twenty-six and twenty-four, you know definitely it should be ten. You don't want to get the squares and square root to find this missing figure, right? I'll give you another one. So this is 39, right? So this is 36. Now you want to find this. 36 and 39 are multiples of 3, right? 3 times 12, 36. 3 times 13, it is 39. Same this triangle follows 5, 12, 13 rule. So then what happened? So this should be 3 times 5. That is 15 centimeters. Okay, so that's the end of today's lesson. In this video, we discuss how to find the missing length in a right angle triangle. So as a summary, in a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse should be equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Having that knowledge, today we had few right angle triangles and they have given the hypotenuse value and they have given another side. We want to find the missing side. For that, you can follow the Pythagoras theorem and you can get the uh, squares and you can get the square root. Finally, find the missing figure. And I told you, uh, this is an easy method. You can check whether that particular triangle they have given to find the missing length just check whether this follow 3 4 5 rule or 5 12 13 rule if so you don't want to spend much time to get the missing figure right hope everybody understood today's lesson then again we want to continue to cover the syllabus content according to your textbook we want to have another two to three videos together with sums. So I told you in the previous video, if you feel you can understand the way she is explaining, don't forget to share about our YouTube channel. It is Math with Jeeva. And also you can subscribe our channel and click the bell button to get the future notification about our uh, future videos. And to be a master of math, Join with Jiva and learn easy method to understand math concepts. Okay, see you children. We'll meet again with the continuation of this lesson. Okay.